Hello everybody, welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to duplicate your Hollow Knight uh, and subsequently Hollow Knight Silk Song save files. Uh, you may want to do this uh, because primarily, you know, we want to 100% the game and you don't want to restart your, you know, 30 hour save file after you just so happen to do an irreversible change. So today I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, I've done it before. So here we go. For starters, this is where your save files are stored. They're not stored in your Steam apps folder. They're stored in your app data local low team cherry. If you go into the file explorer, you'll probably will not be able to see local low because it is a hidden folder. So what you're going to want to do is press Windows R. You will see app data local low team cherry home night silk song. Just press OK. It'll enter a folder right here where you were going to want to go to this random number. I believe this is most likely player number or probably not. I don't know. It's a random string, but here you're going to see I already did the duplication. I'm going to do it one more time for you guys. Essentially, I'm going to just control X this. You're going to see user one, user one, user one, user one. Everything beyond this does not apply to uh, your duplication. The only thing you are going to want to change is the first number right here. You're going to want to change this first number to user2, two, user2, two, user2, two, user2. Two. And then restore points as well. Because how the, the Hollow Knight Silk Song is running on the same engine that Hollow Knight is, so it's running on all the same save file features. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do Control C and then I'm just going to do Control V and I'm going to rename all of these to three, all of them. And you're going to see that I'm going to have three copies of the same file. And of course, you're also going to have to remove the copy before that because it um, messes with how uh, the game engine reads save files. I'm going to want to make sure that you do not uh, change any of these extra numbers. Mind you, I don't know what they do, but I do know that they do completely, I mean, they duplicate everything because it is just your user data. Then you go to restore point, then you do restore, what did I just do? Restore points three. So now that that's done, I'm going to click on Hollow Knight. We're going to launch the game and you're going to see three identical save files and I did a bit of changing with one of them I was just testing it out wanted to make sure that it actually worked and it did and I'm going to actually show it to you that the game works 100% it's not corrupted we're gonna go start game you're gonna see I copied this third save file as a copy of the second save file the second save file is a copy of this one where I used a rosary bead a stray rosary bead so I'm going to enter into this one and you're going to see everything is functional. Nothing is broken. Nothing is weird. You're going to go up here and attack some enemies. You're going to see everything works like it's supposed to. And the rosaries will update 508. If I go quit menu, you're going to see this third save file is going to save. So as you can see, it's all saved. Everything. So this is a safe and easy way to just duplicate your save files. I really hope this does help all of you. Uh, have a good day.